Hi guys, so today's video is a little bit different than my usual singing videos and that's because you guys have been leaving me such sweet comments on my music videos about my makeup and some of you asked about my makeup so I figured that this would be a fun video for us to do together. This is my go-to makeup look. Um, you've probably seen it a million times here on YouTube on my music videos because it's easy for me to do and it's it's glam but it's also understated enough that it doesn't take the attention away from my voice and I wear this a lot to the studio to record sometimes to meetings and sometimes on a date and so yeah this is the look and I'm gonna show you guys how I got it basically I started with a fresh face reverse Cinderella starting from scratch um, I started with primer uh, Becca Evermatte poreless priming perfecter and I'm going in with my foundation by MAC. It's Pro Longwear. This is waterproof makeup, you guys. I swear by this makeup because I live in South Florida and it is so hot here. It's like your makeup would just melt off your face onto the floor. Just onto the floor. <laughs> so I like this makeup. It stays all day. It lasts a long time. Um, I'm going in with my concealer. This is Pro Longwear. NW35 is the color that I'm using. And... I'm just uh, basically putting it underneath my eyes and in my T-zone. And this is just going to open up your, your eyes and bring some of the definition back into the rest of your face. I know some people pull their concealer really low. I just kind of like to stop mine uh, at my nose. No lower than that because I want it to you know, still look natural. And that's the goal I'm going for, an everyday look. And so then I just put it all over my uh, the lid, each of my lids, and it's just gonna serve as a base for my shadows. Okay, this is Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I love this setting powder. I don't know what I was doing with my life before I got this powder because it just holds your makeup in place. Like, it holds my makeup in place, it keeps under my eyes really fresh, it stops your concealer from creasing. I have combination skin and so my T-zone gets a little oily so it's perfect to put right there especially if I'm going to be performing um, and doing a show it doesn't move and I love that all right ready to go out how do I look <laughs> now I'm gonna actually just brush this out um, I don't really let it bake I kind of just uh, brush it off uh, kind of right after I put it on to be honest uh, especially because this is a natural look I don't really want it to stick too long because it becomes really bright if you leave it on too long um, this is MAC mineralized skin finish in the color dark tan and I kind of just put it all around the places around where I put my concealer just bring the color in everywhere and um, into my face and it also just mattifies everything you kind of just did and I'm just putting it on my neck and my chest a little bit to even it out and I, I love this powder this is a really nice powder it's not too heavy all right this is galaxy chic palette by BH cosmetics and I'm using the color Mars and I'm just putting it on my lid um, but below the crease and I like this color it's it's pretty it's like a pink brownish color this is my 120 color palette by BH Cosmetics again I'm using a color it's kind of like a brick burnt orange color it doesn't have a name on the palette so that's kind of how I can describe it and then for this for my crease I'm actually using um, what I would use for my contour and I like doing that for natural looks because it kind of brings it all together without um, being too extra. This, I mean, well, if you go in with it very lightly. So this is what I'm going to be using for my contour later. And I'm kind of making a V with it and turning it into a little bit of a wing. And if you use your contour color um, in your crease, it just makes it look really pretty and natural um, from my experience. So that's what I did. And now I'm using NARS uh, in the color Albatross. I love this color. I use it on my brow bone. I don't always use this, uh, but it's really pretty and just kind of highlights the brow bone. And then I'm putting it right in the corners of my eyes. And I'm just blending it with my fingers because I couldn't actually find my blending brush. Kind of savage. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, now I'm going in with Kat Von D. This is waterproof liquid liner in the color Trooper. And for those of you who may have uh, trouble doing a cat eye or a wing line, I highly suggest Kat Von D. It's really easy. It makes it a lot easier. And then for lashes, I'm using iKate House Lashes. I got this for a dollar, you guys. And I got 12, a pack of 12 for $10.99, which I thought was a great deal because if you buy lashes, you know they're like $5 at the beauty supply store and like $15 at max. So that was a good deal for me. Um, and then I bought the Duo Lash Glue from iKate House as well. And then I'm just going to apply these. I chose lash number 62. 
And if you ever have trouble putting on lashes, this easy lash applicator that I'm using makes it so much easier to put it on. Uh, this is by, it's by Kiss is the brand, yeah. And now I'm using Engrave Eyeliner, my favorite uh, on my waterline. And then I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Colossal in uh, Jet Black uh, on my bottom lashes. And now I'm just gonna go and actually define my brow. Initially I did just like a quick outline on my brows to make sure I didn't put makeup there. But now I'm actually going to go in and clean them up. This is Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Dark Brown. And I'm just kind of going to outline it and then fill it in a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my, what is this? This is MAC Brow Gel, yes, and dip down. And I'm going to just kind of fill in the ends, not too close to the beginning of my brow, but the ends. And then this is my contour color, which is Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder in the color Ebony. And I put it in between my cheekbones, high on my cheekbones, and then um, on my chin. And then I'm just contouring my nose. And I'm going to brush it out and just make sure that, you know, there are no harsh lines because I prefer it that way, especially for a natural look. And then this is NYX Blush in the color Cinnamon. And I love that color so much. It's so pretty. Look at this sad lip liner though. Like I, you know this is my everyday go-to lip liner because it's so small and I should have and could have bought like, you know, a brand new one so that it didn't look so savage to you guys. But this is real. <laughs> this is real life. And I'm basically just going to line my lips with this. And um, it's in the color copper and it's really pretty. I, I basically just because the color I'm about to use is so light, I bring it all the way halfway into my bottom lip. And then I applied NYX lipstick in the color Talia. This is my favorite color. It is a little bit pink, and that's why I use a darker liner. And then I kind of just rub my lips together, kind of like a lip gloss, to be honest. And then I just go over the lip liner, over it with lip liner again, uh, kind of for an ombre effect. And this is MAC Bronzer in Golden Bronze. I love this color so much. I just put it at the top of my cheekbones and if this was a, you know, a harsher look, maybe uh, I would probably pack it on because I just want to look like Tinkerbell. I just want you to feel like you just like ran into like fairy dust, <laughs> but I kind of did it a little bit lightly on my nose and then a little bit right above my lip. And now I'm going to go in with NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray just to set my makeup Get it all in there, honey, because you want it to stay still like the mannequin challenge, okay? I don't want my makeup to go anywhere for the night. So this is the final look. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share it, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was fun for me, so if you liked this video, let me know. And if you want to see more like this, let me know. And if you have any suggestions or anything like that, um, I'm down. I'm down. This was cool. And... Um, for those of you who are looking for me anywhere other than YouTube, I do have an Instagram. Uh, it's at Cerise's World. My Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat are all at Cerise's World. And my Facebook is Cerise's Music Page. So just want to be able to talk to you guys more in between videos. And um, also, a special thank you to everyone who joined me on Patreon last week. I did just join Patreon. And um, basically, for those of you who don't know, it's a site where you can support my music. And I do live sessions on there and group chats and just some really cool things for us to do together. So if you are interested in supporting my music, just click the links. And thank you guys for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.